Thank you for visiting Litson.com and for the opportunity to unveil for you Winnebago's flagship diesel pusher, the 2017 Winnebago Grand Tour 42QL here at Litson RV. America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries, we're located only one mile north of the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all three divisions, the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America now back to back for consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Winnebago and Cummins powertrain in accordance with the way Winnebago Industries and Cummins outline inside their owner's manuals, in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure, in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles, and varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that Cummins ISL power plant, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in your new Cummins ISL, sleep that first night in your 42QL, and also eat that first meal in your Grand Tour here at Litson RV. As Winnebago Industries migrates diesel pusher production out towards Junction City, Oregon, there is a limited supply available of remaining Grand Tours that were built here in Four City, and we have purchased the balance of that inventory. So be certain to check out our current available inventory for the best selection of colors that are your preference towards the limited supply that we have of Winnebago Grand Tours. This Winnebago Grand Tour 42QL is identical to the Itasca by Winnebago Ellipse Ultra 42QL that we also offer here at our dealership. Being one of the few full line dealerships here in North America so that we can provide you that unbiased opinion, the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra are identical all the way down to features, quality, content, price, and colors. This Grand Tour 42QL we ordered in a spiral gray premium full body automotive base coat clear coat finish. It includes the additional clear coats that come with the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra. Up front here you'll find a beautiful panoramic one piece windshield which is the tallest in the industry but also features true 36 inch wiper blades for maximum coverage. You can see up front as part of the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra, the Mobile Eye Collision Avoidance System is now standard in the Grand Tour where it was optional in the Tour. Down below here you'll also find the Cummins Onan 10,000 watt quiet diesel generator that conveniently sips fuel off of the top three quarters of the 150 gallon fuel cell. It also is on a powered slide out tray for ease of maintenance. Up front then we also have the invisible clear front mask that protects the vertical surfaces on the front end of the 42QL. Down below beautiful stylized chrome accents as well as the taller stainless steel valance trim. This includes a full 11 inch stainless steel valance panel, whereas the Tour includes a four inch. You can see the chrome exhaust tip for the Cummins Onan 10,000 watt quiet diesel generator. That then ties in nicely with the Zamp 100 watt solar system that we'll cover when we get up atop the roof. Ties in nicely with the Cummins Onan automatic generator start system as well. Additional insulation is included in the cab cockpit area for a very quiet maneuverability. Then off to the left we include the taller stylized chrome mirrored heads, the top two thirds of which are powered and heated. The lower one third then includes the convex parabolic wide angle technology. We also then include the side video camera monitoring system that ties in nicely with the rear view camera monitoring system. That is articulated in the oversized capacitive touchscreen Rand McNally GPS setup that we'll cover as we get inside of the RV features an oversized 10.4 inch touchscreen color monitor with Rand McNally RV GPS. Some nice enhancements in this powertrain that also include the Maxim chassis. So the coach does boast 196 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. 
Because the coach is on the upgraded 45,660 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis, this 42QL has 5,500 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. It also then still maintains that 15,000 pound factory installed tow package. The coach does include the Cummins ISL 8.9 liter big block turbocharged diesel engine. You'll see as we get alongside the driver's side, it also includes the side radiator engine placement for ease of access and clean air intake. Of course, down below here in this location, we include the ZF independent front air suspension. To the rear, we include V-Ride air suspension that we'll touch on here in a second. But all of that then also ties in with the ultra steer passive tag axle that we'll cover here in a moment to provide a 60 degree wheel cut with a 17% reduction in curb to curb turning radius. We include the oversized 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels up front here. And then also keep in mind this coach actually includes not only automatic hydraulic leveling jacks with three position controls, but we've also included the factory installed upgrade of the HWH automatic air leveling system. This provides an automated leveling system even in unlevel terrain, loose soils, or when off the grid RVing. This coach is an all electric coach, but we do include to the exterior of the RV a portable gas grill hookup, which is then run into the other side. We'll show you here as we get alongside the patio side. It also includes the tailgate package that we'll cover as we get alongside the patio side. That is standard in the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra. Again, 196 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. You can see the storage above that six gallon LP capacity, which is utilized only for exterior gas grilling. All of our chassis rails and compartments here at Winnebago Industries are now E-coated in the latest E-Coat technology in which Winnebago Industries has recently made a multi-million dollar investment in their E-Coat facility. So again, all of the cross rails and the luggage compartments down below. Two-tiered storage is included here in this full exterior slide-out compartment tray. This will extend on either side of the coach, mounted now down in the cross rails of the chassis to provide an even lowered center of gravity. We include six maintenance-free, absorb glass mat, AGM deep cycle, marine RV sealed coach batteries. Again, they are maintenance-free, so you don't need to provide access to those. We only use mechanical access underneath this slide-out tray. And again, this enormous slide-out tray is steel and it slides to either direction. Off to the right then, again, 11-inch stainless steel valance trim, and then we include in this compartment the Aqua Hot Hydronic Heating System. This is also the upgraded 450D version from AquaHot. So it functions off of an electrical element or off of the diesel burner. Again, pulling from the main 150 gallon fuel cell. So this provides continuous unlimited hot water. It's your primary heat source, but then it also provides the heat for the in-floor radiant heating system that we'll cover as we get inside of the RV. Again, utilizing computer-aided design, Winnebago actually runs the glycol lines in four-inch increments to alleviate any cold spots compared to competing manufacturers that utilize in-floor heat, utilizing electrical elements. Again, this pulls off of the AquaHot 450D, so it'll function off of the electrical element when you're plugged in or off of the diesel burner. Off to the right then we include coaxial inputs for portable satellite or for a resort cable. When we climb atop the roof of this 42QL we'll also show you the satellite pre-wire. Of course we utilize LED lighting throughout the entire RV which is 70% more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent or halogen lighting. It's also cool to the touch and extends the life of those electric drivers for the LED lighting. We also include a powered cord reel for the 50 amp electrical shoreline cord, a 12 volt appliance that will retract that cord in at the touch of a button. Utilizing the power line energy management system, we can also utilize a reducer to come down to 30 amp electrical service. We include the factory installed ZAMP 100 watt solar system because this is an all electric coach. This then We'll charge the six AGM absorb glass mat batteries. It works out great in conjunction with the Cummins Onan automatic generator start system. 
Off to the right there, you'll see a portable quick port to add portable solar panels, but the actual system itself is expandable with additional panels up on the roof up to 450 watts. So again, currently what's configured is a 100 watt setup, which is more than adequate to power that all electric component with the refrigerator, residential refrigerator package. But again, it's expandable up to 450 watts with additional plug and play panels atop the roof or utilizing this portable quick port connection. Again, some nice enhancements with this powertrain. We talked about the fact that it includes the ultra steer passive rear tag axle. It also includes the side radiator setup. Just behind this location then we include all of your exterior hookups in one easy to access location, including a portable powered freshwater hose reel. We have an outside shower as well. Whole house sediment filtration is included off to the right. We tie in all of your hookups within multi multiplex firefly wiring setup. Now we'll cover each of these components in more detail. Off to the left, coming off of your dedicated freshwater input, we can actually fill the entire 85 gallon freshwater capacity simply by moving this diverter valve. So if you're getting ready to take out on your vacation or trip, or if you're getting ready to head back home, you can bring in a partial tank of water, whatever you need to get home. Very simply by moving that diverter valve, we have a freshwater inlet, which also works in conjunction with the powered hose reel down below. We have the outside wash station or shower. We include a paper towel dispenser as well as a soft soap dispenser. We include the oversized sewer drainage hose along with the 90 degree elbow which allows for a seamless one person drainage of the RV. Again, because this is a basement model working off of that aqua hot system, all of your lower compartments are heated with its own separate zone and temperature stat for the lower compartments. Again, here you'll see the paper towel dispenser. We also have a soft soap dispenser. And then off to the right of that, we include additional holding tank monitoring, which is part of the true level holding tank monitoring system outside of the coach with the multiplex Firefly wiring system. We include an innovative Santee flush, which allows you to irrigate out your black tank. So again, you can drain your black tank, irrigate it out utilizing a non-potable water hose here with the Santee flush. And then also then finally pull your gray water to cleanse out your sewer hose. Here you can see the three point leveling controls. You can see an option to start and stop the generator, a 12 volt on demand water pump switch, service lighting, the ability to lock all of your compartments from inside or outside the coach or off of the keyless entry fob or off of the touchpad keyless entry alongside the driver's entry door alongside the patio side. And then again, the true level holding tank monitoring system so you can monitor your, whole, your drainage tanks from inside or outside of the RV. It also includes voltage readouts for the RV batteries. Again, those six AGM absorbed glass mat batteries that pull off of that ZAMP solar system, your shoreline cord, or off of generator access. And then you can see the drainage valve hookups for the black tank and for the gray tank. 71 gallons of total gray tank capacity and 51 in the black. Again, we include 85 gallons of total freshwater capacity, all of which you can monitor from outside. We do also include whole house sediment filtration that ties in for all of the dedicated fresh water input coming into the RV. This also then ties in nicely with the water purification system, which is included inside. We'll cover as we get inside the galley or kitchen of this Grand Tour. Again, utilizing computer aided design, we can oversize compartments and holding tank capabilities, utilizing seamless one piece rotocast tanks. You can see all of the quick ports that allow for ease of hooking up your hoses and then closing those compartments. Again, I mentioned earlier some nice powertrain enhancements. This does include the ultra steer passive tag axle. So just behind the traditional axle where the tag axle is, we actually have the ability to turn that rear tag axle 12 degrees, which represents a 17% reduction in curb to curb turning radius. It also alleviates tire scrub. Also, this particular Grand Tour then includes the side radiator engine setup for maximum fresh air intake, but also for ease of 
access for maintaining the engine. The coach boasts 1,250 pounds-feet of torque or power. It's then mated up with an Allison 3000 series, six-speed automatic transmission with grade braking capability and integrated three-stage exhaust brakes. Be sure to check out the additional Ultra Steer passive tag axle video as well as the V-Ride video, which is the second and third video in the playlist on Litson.com. The V-Ride technology provides additional rear axle strength rating, which will alleviate sway in turning and cornering with the RV, but it also then allows for the stronger rear axle, which then translates into that 15,000 pound factory installed tow package. To the rear, we have integrated awnings that run front to rear, but also the integrated rear spoiler. Tying into that and concealed to alleviate road spray or glare, we have the integrated rear view camera monitoring system that does include one-way audio. It ties in nicely with that side video camera monitoring system, which is articulated by the turn signals, or you can run that in whole house mode so that with whole house mode, it allows you to run like a security system. A beautiful one-piece fiberglass end cap is included to the rear. You can see the upgraded acrylic fabric window awning package, which is standard now in the Grand Tour. And then down below, we include a 15,000 pound factory installed tow package with plenty of power with 1,250 pounds feet of torque or power. It also includes the seven blade bargeman wiring plug. Again, that is a standard two inch receiver. And now as we zoom back out, unlike any dealership here in North America, we're gonna elevate up to show you all of the quality components atop the roof of the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra. This includes Winnebago's patented proprietary quality advantage that we've been using for over 50 years. This is a crowned one-piece interlapped and interlocked seamless fiberglass roof. You can see the integrated awning package which is included along with that rear spoiler. Off to the right then a nice sneak preview of what is 35 total feet of roofline awnings. This is the Colorado Carefree Paramount multi-stage lateral arm awnings each of which include additional presets and can be operated from right inside the step well of the RV. Of course, they're tied in with upgraded acrylic fabric, which allows the RV to breathe. Up front then, we also include the True Air Maximum Comfort AC setup, which includes three 13.5 low profile, high efficiency ducted air conditioners with two heat pumps and three condensation pumps. Behind hidden insulation in the roof, that provides for whisper quiet technology that is within six decibels of what has been Winnebago's patented basement air that we had used for over 25 years. So a whisper quiet setup. We then take it one step further and actually run and pipe the water runoff to the rear driver side where it'll drip on the ground. So you won't have that water shed. You can see several of the power ventilator fan covers, the ZAMP 100 watt solar system, which includes expansion availability up to 450 watts. We also then include the upgraded factory installed option of the WineGuard Razor automatic local off air high definition television system that at one touch of a button will bring in your entire free local off air high definition programming from inside the RV. This coach is also pre-wired for any of the three types of satellite technology, so be sure to check out our Satellite RV 101 video in our video library on Litson.com, as well as several archived live video webcasts in which we brought the folks in from King Controls to walk us through the three types of satellite technology. Also be sure to check out on our parts page an interactive multimedia satellite antenna finder tool in which we can help pinpoint the exact right satellite setup for your type of RVing. Up front then we also have several rubber whip antennas for AM FM stereos, but also the cup antenna for Sirius XM satellite radio, which is tied into the 10.4 inch infotainment setup. That can now be run to any of the televisions within the RV, utilizing the whole house mode off of the navigational system. And now as we wrap up atop the roof of the Grand Tour, we'll drop back down towards the patio level and wrap up the patio side. Again, we have six absorbed glass mat AGM maintenance-free batteries. We include the starting batteries just here off to the 
left side of the patio side rearward compartment. So again, the dual starting batteries. We also have several different breakers that are included for the automotive components, as well as the DEF tank, which actually now includes a fill for each side. Again, some nice enhancements here that the fact that it does include the side radiator engine setup, it includes the ultra steer passive tag axle. Here you can see the solenoid and disconnect relays that are located behind that panel. And then off to the right is actually the location for the main DEF tank. Although we do have a DEF fill alongside the driver's side as well. That is the diesel exhaust fluid tank, which is required since 2010 with the additional EPA emissions. Again, just forward of this then is the ultra steer passive rear tag axle. It provides for 12 degree changes in tire direction to alleviate tire scrub. It provides for that 60 degree wheel cut and a 17% reduction in curb to curb turning radius. So there is the ultra steer rear passive tag axle, the main rear axle then just forward of that. With ultra steer, it actually will lock out and go perfectly straight below speeds of 20 miles per hour or when in reverse. Here you'll find the tailgate package which includes the induction range top. It includes a stainless steel counter, a refrigerator freezer, bottle opener, garage bag, garbage bag holder, paper towel holder, a cold water access port, a flexible water spout with shut off. It includes a 15 foot coiled water hose, LED lighting, an additional 110 volt AC receptacle that ties in nicely with the 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter converter. So with the inverter side of that, it allows you to run everything within the RV directly off of those six AGM absorbed glass mat batteries with the ex exception of the stacked washer and dryer, air conditioning setup and dishwasher. But again, this is an all electric coach, so it ties in nicely with that 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter tying into that six AGM absorbed glass mat battery bank, which then is recharged by the solar, the shoreline power running your generator, or anytime the vehicle has the engine running off of the alternator. So again, the tailgate package is now standard in the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra. It's optional on the Tour and Ellipse. Now as we work our way back forward, again, keep in mind 196 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage with that Maxim chassis. Provides for lowered rail technology, which lowers the center of gravity and transit, but also provides incredible cavernous basement storage and the ability to mount those six AGM batteries into the cross rails of the chassis. Here you'll find the location for your winterization kit with along with additional basement storage. Again, keeping in mind that all of the lowered basement compartments are heated off of the Aqua Hot separate zoned thermostat. You have the opportunity to drain your freshwater tank as well as utilize the winterization kit. Just a tremendous amount of cavernous basement storage. Again, 196 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage, even after reducing that for the tailgate package. Again, the 46,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis includes for 5,500 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, yet still maintains the ability to pull 15,000 pounds. Here you can see additional low point drains and freshwater tank drainage.
You'll also notice as we work our way around towards the patio side, we've included the exterior entertainment center upgrade setup. This includes a 55 inch high definition television, which is on an articulating mount. It then also includes the home theater soundbar system with wireless subwoofer. The great thing about this is that it is tied into the HDMI matrix selection system so that we can run any of two different satellites, the Blu-ray player, or even the Sirius XM satellite functioning off of the whole house mode navigation setup to any of the televisions. This oversized 55 inch television is also on an articulating pivot mounting bracket so that you can utilize this at virtually any angle outside. Here's a nice detailed shot then of that slide out compartment tray and dual tier storage system. Again, this tray will run east to west, opening on each side. Currently, we have located in here the rear mudguard that we actually install as part of our pre-delivery inspection. Just an incredible amount of storage here in this 42QL. And as we work our way around the patio side, we'll cover some additional exterior specifications. The coach is 43 feet long. It is a wide body at 8.5 feet. 12 feet 10 inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof of the RV, yet still maintaining an interior ceiling height of 7 feet, even after insulating the cold air returns for the three HVAC setups for the three air conditioners, providing that whisper quiet technology. We still maintain those 7 foot interior ceiling heights. Just forward of that, then we include the central back system, which provides a toe kick inside for the high polished porcelain tile. It also then includes the attachments that you need for inside or outside so that you can vacuum out your compartments or even your dinghy tow car utilizing the central back system. We then include a quick port for additional 110 volt extension cords or additional appliance ties in, ties in for that 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter that you can see just to the right of this main battery disconnect switch. We then also tie in a nice on off switch just inside the step well for storage. But again, this is a pure sine wave inverter to preserve the high-end technologies utilized in the Grand Tour as opposed to modified sine wave inverters that other manufacturers utilize. It's also the oversized 2800 watt version. That pulls off of the six AGM absorbed glass mat batteries, which are recharged by solar shoreline power generator usage or off of the alternator of the Cummins ISL 8.9 liter big block. There you can see the wireless subwoofer that can be utilized outside of the patio area for the home theater soundbar system for the exterior entertainment center upgrade. You can see each of our compartments are insulated and lined. We have dual fuel fills for the 150 gallon fuel cell. We continue with the oversized 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels. With this upgraded acrylic entry handle we include keyless entry for not only keyless entry but also the ability to lock or unlock your compartment doors from inside or outside the RV. You can see the upgraded Corian step well off to the right. We include quartz countertops inside. We trim out some of the components with Corian which you can see here inside the step well. Utilizing those light colors around side the wheel wells for easy maintenance and easy cleaning, yet it provides the rich, luxurious, dark look of a high-end pusher, which this is with the spiral gray premium full body base coat, clear coat automotive finish. But those lighter colors right alongside your wheel well spray. Frameless contour dual pane thermal insulated windows are included as well as each of these. Colorado Carefree Paramount multi-stage lateral arm awnings one of which is 16 feet, the other 19 feet, and they can extend at virtually any pitch, but also include preset options from the Paramount controller right inside the step well. These will expand all the way out or at different pitch points. Of course, we utilize LED lighting in each of those as well as this, the over the door entry awning. Really provides for ease of access of navigating back to your RV. And of course, those Paramount awnings then include automatic retract with the motion vibration sensor from the wind speed sensor capability. A larger entry door is included in this setup from Winnebago Industries. 
Okay, along with the electric entry step and Corian step wells, that door will also lock tight at a certain mile per hour to insulate that cab area. And now as we jump in the Grand Tour 42QL, you'll see we've ordered this factory fresh in the Villa Furniture palette called the Contemporary Cambridge Beige and Sage palette. It's paired up with true hardwood coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry, which is handcrafted here in Forest City by Winnebago Industries, utilizing computer aided design so that not only can we maximize interior storage capabilities, but we can minimize tolerances and fit and finish, which long term will minimize squeaks and rattles compared to competing models. Our most successful bath and one half floor plan since its debut in 2010 and then later being brought up into the Grand Tour in Ellipse Ultra line. This provides for a wonderful spacious bath in one half with a true walk around king bed to the rear on the pneumatically adjustable bed. A spacious rear full master bath to the rear with Winnebago's patented big shower. Full wardrobe closet capabilities are included. An oversized kitchen or galley area with a massive pull out pantry and spice rack storage area. The residential refrigerator package is included, the glide and dine dining table and buffet setup, and then up front a wonderful home theater entertainment armoire. We'll cover each of these main living components individually, just covering one sweeping shot right now. Up front then we also include the luxury villa cab seats. And now let's cover each of these components in more detail. One of the great things about this floor plan is the oversized sectional with the home theater surround sound setup with that entertainment armoire. This includes the upgraded premium villa interior designed by a third party designer from Winnebago Industries that was hired for all of these different pallets. This includes the oversized sectional sofa set up in the home theater setup. This additional ultra leather then is included with the adjustable home theater seating area. It also includes a powered adjustable headrest setup. They recline at the touch of a button also off of the Firefly Matrix setup. You can see some of the diffusers from the Aqua Hot. We also include this ottoman which provides for additional storage, a wonderful cocktail table, or a place to raise your feet. Unique to the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra, we do include MCD powered blackout ro roller shade system that's articulated with one touch of a button. We can go into home theater mode, which will dim the lights and drop the privacy screens. We can bring all of the actual blackout roller shades up or down with one touch of a button. The solar shades then are pull down solar shades. They don't snap back up like traditional solar shades. But then again, all of the MCD powered blackout roller shades are included with the multiplex Firefly wiring system. So that can be done from up front or in the rear master bedroom. One of the main appeals to this coach is just the entertainment area because it does feature this oversized entertainment armoire at residential height level. So you have the reclining home theater set up with the sectional that does convert into a 52 by 76 inch sleeping setup. It includes dual safety belts, but it's all at eye level with a wonderful home theater residential setup. It includes storage overhead but then includes a 50 inch 4K ultra high definition television that is on an articulating mount that will pull away to reveal additional storage, but also the hidden safe right behind this 4K TV. We have storage overhead and then also down below, we include the electric fireplace, which really provides for a tremendous amount of heat with its adjustable thermostat and flame, a handheld remote, it includes a timer with automatic shutoff as well. You can see the premium home theater 
soundbar setup, which is included. That's a factory installed upgrade for the lounge and the bedroom. Just behind here, releasing this button, then it actually allows this 50 inch television to articulate out with the quartz countertop. It includes that touchpad safe along with additional storage, wine glass storage, wine bottle storage. But again, that security safe is right behind the oversized high definition television. Also keep in mind that TV is tied into the HDMI matrix selection system so that we can articulate either of the two satellite inputs, the home theater Blu-ray setup, or the whole house mode off of the front navigational system. Again, right below that quartz countertop with the beautiful surround then, you can see the electric fireplace. A nice zoomed in shot here of the upgraded Yamaha home theater premium sound system for the lounge and for the bedroom. Beautiful mosaic tile accents surrounding the shrouds of this electric fireplace. Provides for an adjustable thermostat in flame. It includes a handheld remote and an electric timer with automatic shutoff. This is resting right atop the flush floor slide out alongside the driver side. Provides for this entertainment armor right at eye level. Again, taking advantage of computer aided design will flank storage on each side of that. Here you'll find the recliner, which again is tied into that premium seating system with the Villa Furniture luxury cab seats, the same style setup in terms of the comfort of this lounge chair. It includes a pull-out flip-out table, which then conceals itself into the armoire. We then trim the entire side out with a beautiful honey cherry glazing on the chair rail and wainscoting. That will then also slide right behind that entertainment armoire. Beautiful high polished porcelain tile that is included on a half drop provides for a lighter appearance for ease of maintenance and easy cleaning. Inside the galley with this oversized U-shaped style kitchen, we include quartz countertops. We include a wonderful pull-out island here that will provide all of your, your, your cutlery and different types of silverware right at eye level and hand reaching across from the glide and dine dining table and chair setup. So again that pull out island right there will provide for silverware and cutlery storage. We utilize the high end quartz countertops which is why we cannot use a quartz sink top cover because of the like kind materials that could potentially scratch. So we do utilize that teak setup. Inside the kitchen and the galley area, then we include the stainless steel microwave and convection oven with a vented range and touch control. This is the oversized stainless steel version of the microwave and convection oven. This allows us to bake brown and roast just like a traditional oven, yet it allows for additional storage underneath the quartz countertops, but also for the pull-out drawer style dishwasher. Beautiful inlaid mosaic tile backsplash is included with additional 110 volt outlets. Here inside the sink area then, because we're utilizing the quartz countertops, we don't want to use a quartz sink top cover so that when it sets to the side, like kind properties will scratch. So we utilize this teak style sink top cover, but it reveals oversized stainless steel sinks Again, this setup does include the soft soap dispenser. It includes a single control, high rise, satin nickel, gooseneck style faucet with a pull out sink sprayer. And also then includes the water purification system, which is mounted up under the sink, utilizing residential style filters. So they're very easy to swap out and to replace. Tremendous amount of storage is included underneath this area, but also we haven't forgotten the location for the waste paper basket. We also include additional diffusers off of the Aqua Hot hydronic heating system. Again, all of this area also includes the in-floor radiant heat. 
We include the dual burner true induction cooktop so that if you do turn this on until it senses induction cookware, it will not get hot to the touch. So it's a very safe setup. Again, tying into the residential all-electric coach setup. Down below then, we do have a drawer dishwasher, which provides for a tremendous amount of capacity in terms of different plate settings. This is the Fisher Pagel dishwasher. It includes multiple adjustable modes as well as a lockout mode for travel. Again, taking advantage of computer-aided design, we then put additional drawer space underneath the dishwasher, a full-out pull-out island, and with all of our drawer stacks here at Winnebago Industries, these, of course, are all full-length extensions on metal drawer glides. Unique to the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra, we then also include soft close drawer glides. And then you can see how this pull-out island conveniently tucks away, but a great location to store silverware and things that you might need right across at your dining table and chair set up with buffet. Beautiful LED accent lighting is included down below as well. We continue on with the multiplex Firefly wiring system. This includes lighting controls for the lounge, the galley, overhead. It also includes controls for accent lighting and your exhaust fan as well as yet again another way to power that motorized MCD shade system. And again, this kitchen and galley is just ahead of the half bath. And right across from the oversized U-shaped galley or kitchen, we include the glide and dine dining table and chair setup. It provides for the perfect hybrid of a freestanding table and chair with the additional storage of the hybrid buffet setup. We trim out then the buffet with quartz countertops. We include two permanent hardwood upright chairs and two hardwood folding chairs. It includes a pull-out leaf area to extend this table. But the beauty of the Glide and Dine is that if it is just the two of you, you can actually move that forward or back, locking into two-inch steel increments to provide more room at one end or the other. If you both like to face television while you're eating, you can actually move that forward and provide for a little bit more space. This also includes the residential French door refrigerator with the freezer drawer, water, and ice dispenser. This is an all electric coach with this residential refrigerator package. And then off to the left, we have the pantry that we'll cover here in a moment. But again, this provides for the exterior water and ice dispenser. This is powered off of AC 110 volt power, but it does tie into the 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter. So it will power itself off of those six AGM absorbed glass mat batteries which then are replenished from the solar, from the shoreline power, automatic generator start setup, or in transit. And as we take a look at the adjustable bins and shelves, let's just wrap up on some specifications. Again, the coach does include 85 gallons of total freshwater capacity, 71 in the gray and 51 in the black. The coach itself is 43 feet long, 8.5 feet wide, and 12 feet 10 inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof of the RV. As we work our way through the interior here, you'll find 7-foot ceilings. Here as we pull out the bottom freezer drawer. Again, a wonderful setup here. And with all of this additional storage inside this residential refrigerator and freezer, we of course include then additional drawer stacks off to the left, but we also have an enormous pantry that we're gonna cover here in a moment behind the coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry. You can see the drawer stack off to the left and then as we open this pantry again beautiful coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry we have spice rack and canned good storage located right here but then behind just a tremendous amount of pantry space so as we, re we release this you'll see all of this additional pantry storage with adjustable shelving but also pull out ro roller shelving Again, full length extensions with metal drawer glides and all of our drawer stacks then include soft closed drawer glides.
Now as we work our way, we'll cover into the half bath. So, so again, a full master bath to the rear in this half bath up front. We continue with the quartz countertops and a drop-in style sink. Because we invest in the Vacuity Electric Assist Flush with Macerator Pump technology, we have a lot of flexibility in terms of floor plan, in terms of where we actually mount different half bath and full bath locations. We continue to trim out all of the frameless contour windows that are dual pane windows with hardwood valances and traditional valance trim. We include a mirrored medicine cabinet with additional adjustable shelving. Again, beautiful quartz countertops with a drop-in sink and a single control satin nickel lavatory faucet with soft soap dispenser. Beautiful inlaid tile, mosaic tile backsplashes are included. We include this residential height style porcelain toilet with the power flush, acuity assist flush, so that we can actually use this in water conservation mode or for the power flush. But because of that investment, it provides for floor plan flexibility of where we place the half bath. A beautiful contemporary interior, beautiful rich faux style colored wallboard. We continue to trim this out with a chair rail and wainscoting. We include the high polished porcelain tile that then also includes the in floor radiant heat setup, which really is a nice way to wake up in the morning or to go to bed in the evening. We can program this for you so that it turns on in the morning, then turns off so it's not fighting your air conditioning system. But then as you retire for the evening, have it kick back on so you've got that nice warm touch of getting in and out of bed. Here are the controls for that Tecma Thetford Acuity Assist Flush. Again, it includes two modes. It includes the water saver mode as well as the power flush. Utilizing that macerator pump technology, then it ties that back into the 51 gallon black tank. Again, a contemporary faux style colored wallboard is included behind here, tying into the overall contemporary Cambridge beige and sage palette. Here again, we continue with the multiplex Firefly wiring for lighting controls, hallway lighting controls, 12 volt on demand water pump, as well as for your exhaust fan. And we trim that out with a chair rail and wainscoting. Here down below you'll find the toe kick for the central back as well as a attachment connection. Here inside then we include the main control for the Firefly setup. This provides a touchpad style control setup for your HVAC system, lighting controls, slide out operation, and awning controls. Be sure to check out our One Touch Firefly setup video in our video library on Litson.com or also be sure to have any of our factory trained consultants do a complete interactive presentation on this setup. It's a seamless way to navigate all of the HVAC components, lighting components, holding tank monitoring setups that do include different alerts, controls for the Aqua Hot hydronic heating system, the in-floor heat, Cummins auto automatic generator start setup. And again, utilizing the power of our technology, we can walk you through how to operate that. But of course, at the time of delivery, we do that in what everybody talks about on our Google reviews and Facebook reviews of our half day educational orientation class. You can see the attachment hookup for the central vac setup and the toe kick so that if you are that Swiffer type of family, you can get everything into one location, operate the toe kick, and it will take it away with the central vac setup. A true hardwood pocket door provides for privacy to the master bedroom. To the rear here, then we also include the pneumatically adjustable true king bed. This is a true 72 by 80 inch king bed that is on a pneumatic lift so that we don't have to cut out or sacrifice any of the storage at the foot of the bed like other manufacturers do. This includes the Ideal Rest Natural Reserve Digital Comfort Control Mattress and Remote Controls. We include additional Firefly wiring for the master touch turnoffs just at the top of the bed. Full bank of overhead coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry is included. And of course we include then all of the bedspread pillows and shams that are utilized. 
This is the multiplex Firefly paneling that I was talking about for lighting controls, the ability to bring the bed up or down, directional reading lamps, but also for the overhead ceiling fan and also to start and stop the Cummins Own and Gen set. Beautiful contemporary headboard is included. But again, the great thing about that pneumatically adjustable bed is that we can put a true 80 inch king bed in without sacrificing the depth of the cabinet tree storage at the foot of the bed. This is the upgraded Ideal Rest Natural Reserve Digital Comfort Control mattress with independent remotes for each side of that mattress. Even the nightstands we trim out in quartz. But the pneumatic elevation of this allows for that true 80 inch bed. It allows comfortable lounging for reading at night, but also in the event that one of the coach occupants has a bit of a sniffle, it allows us to elevate the headboard. And then when those slide outs come in, then it allows us to not have to sacrifice any storage, which is located just opposite of this true king bed. In comparison to other RV manufacturers that sacrifice the depth of these cabinets at the foot of the bed. Of course, the 110 volt outlets continue to tie into the inverter setup, but we include PowerPoint 12 volt locations throughout the RV. Opposite this true 72 by 80 inch king bed, then we have two different wardrobe closets, as well as an oversized high definition television. Replicating the same nightstand that you can see here on each side, we include a 110 volt outlet, which does tie into the inverter, so you can power it off of the batteries. Beautiful overhead area with a ceiling fan. And then again, these are the two wardrobe closets that I was mentioning with full drawer stacks down below. And then we also include a 28 inch high definition television. Again, tying into the satellite setup so that you can control it from the rear bedroom for inputs from two different satellites if you choose to hook one up, but also from the Blu-ray setup or listening to Sirius XM satellite radio off of the whole house mode for the infotainment center with Rand McNally RV GPS. Full wardrobe closets are included on each side of the entertainment setup with door activated lighting. Here you'll also find many of the accessories that ship with the RV. Additional 12 volt PowerPoint station charging setups are included. Great for smartphone or tablet chargers. We continue with the MCD powered shade and solar shade setup. Again, a true 28 inch high definition LED television is included for this rear bedroom. And then again, flanking the other side, we have yet again another wardrobe closet with full drawer stack down below. And of course, all of our drawer stacks are full length extensions along with soft close metal drawer glides. So again, you can see 12 volt power points on each side of that 110 volt outlet. 12 volt as well as USB type chargers. And then again, as part of that factory installed upgrade that you saw up front with the Yamaha Premium Home Theater setup, we also include the same type of Yamaha Home Theater sound system for the master bedroom. You're gonna shot here of that additional wardrobe closet with the remaining balance of accessories for the convection oven as well as for the central vac system. Continue on then with the Firefly multiplex wiring system for raising and lowering the bed. Bedroom lighting for the overhead ceiling fan. Again, the ability to lock or unlock doors and then also for one touch master lighting. So as you're ready to retire in the evening, you can ensure that all of your compartment lighting is turned off as well as your interior lighting at the touch of a single button. 
But again, we do have that home theater set up that automatically retracts the privacy shades and dims the lights at one touch of a button. The home theater set up then being pulled off of that capacitive touchscreen monitor inside the main hallway. Beautiful LED accent lighting is included in a nice shot up here of how we do not provide any of that noise coming from the overhead air conditioning system because we insulate that area and run one continuous plenum of cold air intake and one continuous plenum of forced air output. You can see the overhead ceiling fan that is occluded and now as we work our way inside the master bathroom all trimmed out with beautiful crown molding for ease of ingress and egress. We do include a true coffee glazed honey cherry entry door for the master bath. We've included the stacked washer and dryer inside the master bathroom with yet again an additional residential height style porcelain toilet with an elongated bowl. We continue with the chair rail and wainscoting as well as the coffee glazed honey cherry valances surrounding the shrouds of the windows. And then here you'll see the upgraded Splendid style stacked washer and dryer setups. Each of these are stacked so that they provide for additional capacity compared to combo units. The dryer, of course, is then direct vented to the outside of the RV. Again, we continue with those dual pane frameless contour windows. What's unique about Winnebago's contour windows is we do include a mini channel seal to alleviate any wind whip and provide for a tighter channel seal compared to competing frameless windows that don't include that mini channel seal. Again, the stacked washer and dryer is located off to the driver's side of the main sink area where we continue to utilize the quartz countertops. Here inside the master bath is also where you'll find the same style porcelain residential height style toilet with that vacuity assist flush Utilizing the macerator pump style technology, then it actually allows for a water saver mode or a power saver mode. You can see several of the diffusers for the aqua hot hydronic heating. Of course, this master bathroom, including the engine access cover, ties into the aqua hot hydronic in floor radiant heat setup. And again, we can program that so that it only kicks on in the morning or when you get ready to retire in the evening. Again, a beautiful chair rail and wainscoting. Just above the quartz countertops, a beautiful inlaid mosaic tile backsplash. Just atop the quartz countertops with a drop-in style sink and a satin nickel lavatory faucet. We include mirrored medicine cabinets with then additional storage here off to the left, just to the corner of Winnebago's branded big shower. Here you can find the main multiplex Firefly wiring control panel, but then also adjustable st storage just off to the left for an oversized linen cabinet. Nice oversized linen cabinet is included just on the side of Winnebago's patented big shower that we'll cover here in a moment. Again, all tucked behind the coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry. Again, even the engine access cover over this area is heated off of the in-floor radiant heating setup. 
beautiful drop-in style sink with a satin nickel lavatory faucet with an integrated soft soap dispenser off to the left. And then off to the left, just behind the glass shower door, we include the big shower, which is a 30 by 42 inch shower with a fold down seat and also a teak removable shower mat. This is a true Corian shower surround with decorative inserts. It includes a flexible handheld shower head with a PosiTemp anti-scald shower control but the flexible handheld shower head does allow you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when dry camping or hotel camping off of the grid and then of course overhead we include the overhead skylight that provides for beautiful indirect lighting as well as additional height clearance for our taller guests But again, a nice upgraded Corian shower compared to the Tour line or the Ellipse line. That is an upgrade to the Grand Tour or Ellipse Ultra. To the rear here, then we have the Max Air Premium vent system that also includes an automatic temperature control for the exhaust fan to the rear master bath. That is included in the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling, surrounded by beautiful LED accent lighting. Again, a true coffee glazed honey cherry entry door for the bath area and a true hardwood pocket door. And here you can find the controls for that fan, the 12 volt on-demand water pump, as well as for auxiliary lighting. Of course, inside the bathroom then we do include the MCD manual solar blackout and roller shade setup. Beautiful high polished porcelain tile on a half drop with inlaid accents as we work our way through this villa inspired interior. Again, as we look up at the ceiling now, again, seven foot ceilings with beautiful decorative LED surrounds. We have yet again another exhaust fan inside the main galley area. It does also include a cover to alleviate any interior natural light if you'd like to black it out but again this is that max air premium vent system that does also include the rain sensor but notice how none of the air conditioners are exposed because they're tucked behind six inches of ceiling insulation with one continuous plenum of cold air intake and one continuous plenum of forced air output with three different zones and then also a supplemental zone for the basement area up front in the co-pilot area we do include the villa luxury cab seats full banks of overhead coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry surrounding the upper storage area along with the entertainment armoire inside the cab area then we also include the overhead skylight with a powered pleated shade for blackout Full banks of overhead coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry included with beautiful satin nickel pulls. We also include then the controls for the updates for the memory card for the Rand McNally setup. This also includes USB and HDMI inputs. Again, this is what ties into that infotainment center down below. This is also where you can remove the SD card and get lifetime updates off of the Rand McNally setup that will self-install. But again, that's wired down into the Rand McNally RV GPS setup. Off to the right then we include the Razer automatic local off-air high definition antenna controls that you can see right here. We also have controls for the front slide outs if you'd like to utilize this instead of that rear one-touch panel. 
but the WineGuard Razor is the stationary local off-air high-definition antenna that will allow us to bring in your entire free local off-air high-definition programming at the touch of a button. So again, we have this for the local off-air high-definition antenna, but also then keep in mind the coach is pre-wired for satellite technology as we saw when we were atop the roof, and we can bring in any of those three types of satellite technology into your RV right here with our master factory trained RVDA certified technicians. So again, this is the area right overhead the main entry well. Off to the right then we have the entertainment armoire. Because we invest in the infrared blaster setup for IR controls as well as for the DVD player, here you'll find the HDMI matrix selection system. So we have two locations here for alternate satellite technology setup so that we can actually run either of those to any of the four televisions. With the whole house mode off of the infotainment setup. So we have two different satellite inputs the whole house mode, and then this, the DVD player. So that is a Blu-ray home theater setup with the deluxe soundbar and subwoofer and upgraded Yamaha premium sound setup for the lounge and for the bedroom. Now inside the cockpit, some nice upgrades with the Villa luxury cab seats. Beautiful accent lighting overhead with the skylight that then also includes a powered pleated shade to keep the sun out as you're traveling. But just a beautiful area to bring in natural light when not utilizing the LED accent lighting. Down below inside the cockpit, we include the Villa Luxury Cab seats, which include the VersaGlide zero turn radius for the driver's seat. It includes the driver and passenger seat with six-way power assist, powered footrest, heat and massage, a remote swivel power lumbar support, it does include recline and also adjustable headrests. Each of these controls are utilized for either the driver or the passenger seat. They're individually controlled and provide for additional wonderful lounge chairs. Of course, they include that heat and massage with powered lumbar support, all programmable with each remote for the driver and for the passenger seat. We also include safety enhancements such as three-point safety belts, we include adjustable brake and accelerator pedals with hydraulic over air braking. We include light duty automotive conveniences such as tilt and telescoping steering for a fatigueless fit. We'll cover each of the components here inside the cockpit now. Again, tilt and telescoping steering for a fatigueless fit over the long haul. Of course, we include the Mobile Eye Collision Avoidance System, which is now standard. Now, off to the left, we include controls off of, yet again, that Multiplex Firefly Wiring System for seamless ease of navigation. So we have controls for the front windshield power shades, as well as the ability to lock or unlock the entry door, the windshield day and night powered shades, the extension for the passenger step well, and then also overhead map lighting. Powered mirrors with the frost just forward of that. The joystick is included for the Freightliner instrumentation cluster. Controls for that Allison 3000 MH series six speed automatic transmission with grade braking. We also then include a three stage integrated exhaust brake. Here you'll find the battery boost switch so that you can actually start the engine off of the RV batteries in the event that your chassis batteries are low. We have rear docking lamps, the ability to adjust the accelerator and braking pedals and then off to the right we include the HWH computerized leveling system for hydraulic or for air so the great thing about that investment with the air leveling is so that if you're in unlevel terrain and out of grade for automatic hydraulic or if you're traveling over loose soils and being off the grid RVing this will allow you to actually level the RV utilizing the air leveling from HWH it includes its own manifold and self calibrates every 30 minutes Beautiful illuminated stainless steel cup holders, the iWatch for the collision avoidance system from Mobileye. 
We include the smart wheel technology that includes the courtesy flashers and cruise controls integrated right into that tilt and telescoping steering wheel. We include multiple 12 volt power points and USB chargers throughout the RV. A beautiful pearl style instrument panel applique package is included. And then off to the right here, we have the infotainment center with Rand McNally RV GPS, which includes an oversized 10.4 inch touchscreen monitor with split screen capability. It includes a second monitor for the passenger that we'll showcase here in a second. It includes Rand McNally RV GPS for safe and easy routing, amenities and tools, trips and content, turn by turn voice guidance, an AM FM stereo, steering wheel and handheld remote, Sirius XM satellite radio, a compass and outdoor temperature gauge, it includes a color rear view camera, side video camera monitoring display, USB and house mode feature, but also Bluetooth hands-free calling for not only hands-free calling, but for connectivity to voice guidance for the Rand McNally setup and the ability to listen to all of your downloaded music as well as audio apps such as Spotify, Pandora, App One Radio, or Stitcher utilizing Bluetooth connectivity off of your smartphone or tablet. We also then have a second monitor, this being the rear view camera monitoring system, showcasing the rear of our studio and step well area. This is to the rear of the RV off of the second monitor for the passenger. We also include a powered step well cover as well as dual speed built in defroster fans. We include MCD powered solar and blackout roller shades for the front windshield. And also, we include that mobile eye collision avoidance system which features highway monitoring, the ability to automatically control your high beam and low beam. It includes pedestrian and bicycle alerts and also forward highway monitoring. You can see even the nightstands and side stands for the rear bedroom as well as for this front area. We actually trim out and beautiful quartz countertop setups continue with additional convenient 110 volt outlets and 12 volt power point stations. Again, tying into that 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter, we can power anything traveling down the road directly off of those six AGM absorbed glass mat batteries for the perfect mobile office. The ability to run a smartphone, a tablet, or a laptop right inside this passenger area, tying in nicely with that Villa luxury cab seating setup. Beautiful illuminated stainless steel cup holders are included. And then yet again, another panel that will allow you to control your exterior security lighting, windshield night and day shades, entry door locks, compartment door locks, and then one touch master lighting. We showcase down below here the balance of multiplex Firefly wiring setups. Again, these are conveniently accessible right inside the step well. And then down below we have the controls for that Colorado Carefree Paramount multi-stage lateral arm on ends. You can see each of the different presets, but you can also run those individually all the way out or all the way in. But again, certain different presets. It also includes a sensitivity switch for the motion sensor. And then down below, we also include disconnects for the six AGM absorbed glass mat batteries or for the dual chassis starting batteries. And so as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot as I want to take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson.com and for the opportunity to unveil for you the Winnebago Grand Tour 42 QL. Again, with limited supply now through the balance of this model year as Winnebago begins diesel pusher production in Junction City, Oregon. This will be the balance of diesel pusher inventory that we have until early winter. This Grand Tour is available here at Litson RV. America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer, Winnebago Industries, as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all three divisions, the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award now for back-to-back -back consecutive years. 
However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Cummins ISL investment in accordance with the way Freightliner, Cummins, and Winnebago Industries outline inside their owner's manuals, in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure, in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles, and varying your speeds to break in and seat the cylinders inside that Cummins ISL 8.9 liter big block, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in and protect your new powertrain investment, sleep in your bed for that first night, and eat that first meal in your new 42QL here at Lipson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago Industries. I'm Ron Litson, and I want to thank you for visiting our dealership, the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago, Itasca, in the Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries here in Forest City, Iowa. Here are some great points from all of my sales staff and my team as to points unrelated to price why you should choose Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson Motors have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees for purchasing in the state of Iowa as customers will pay their tax title and license in the state that they title their RV. We do, however, assist in titling your RV in your home state. As you can see, we help people day in and day out all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. Due to our close proximity to the Winnebago factory, we're able to take advantage of cost savings over other dealerships. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We offer a free, thorough walk around with our guests at the time of delivery, where we take as much time as needed for our guests to understand every function, maintenance, and warranty item of their RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson Motors, we offer our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot where you have access to free Wi-Fi, filtered fresh water, and electrical service, whether you're taking delivery of a new RV or just stopping by for service. We work with several different lenders in order to get you the most competitive rates and terms. Plus, we offer bi-weekly payments which can save you thousands over the course of your loan. Purchase and service your Winnebago or Itasca from Litson Motors, the nation's closest dealer to the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries. We look forward to providing you the best of class service that our guests throughout the country have come to expect from Litson RV.